name is Amshah Hanif and welcome to my daily vlog and yes, uh, I've got some announcements to tell you guys that the After 5 Hustler is coming to this channel and it's no longer going to be on the Sociograph channel as you can see we're on the way to go shoot the Sociograph show which will still be on the Sociograph channel so I uh, hope you guys are going to like the content on this channel and on the Sociograph channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now if you haven't subscribed to Sociograph's channel, go subscribe to Sociograph. That's where all my, um, more of my marketing and business uh, content is going to be. But this is probably going to be about the hustle and uh, still going to be a daily vlog of my life and what I'm up to on a daily basis. So today we're going to shoot the show here. I, or maybe further down the road, I don't know. It's kind of wet and the guys are kind of behind me. That's Andrew and Rizal walking from afar and I'm like, I'm as always, I'm far ahead of them. Hi Rizal, welcome to the reincarnation of the After 5 Hustler on my channel. I am, I'm in. Yeah. So the previous one was dead. The previous one is now a dog. So yeah, uh, some explanation as to why we're gonna shift it onto my channel is because it I don't know, why, why did we shift it onto my channel? So before it reincarnated, we went to hell or heaven? After 5.30 Hustler. 5am Hustler. That's you! <laughs> What's up guys? We're done with the show. He's lying, we haven't started. Something's coming out of that. How, how do mosquitoes bite you in Starbucks, you? What's that? You see that part where the water comes out? Yeah. Oh no, that's probably a huge fucking breeding ground you. There's the bat cave, I found Batman. Na 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 Batman! Batman! Hey guys, I'm Shah here. Today I just want to talk to you guys about something that's been bugging my mind in recent times. I don't know about you guys, but this is mainly for those of you guys who actually have businesses. Or if you're running a small business or you're dealing with B2B clients. This is in particular when, it, when you are actually giving a service, right? Like personal training, social media, management. So basically a little bit of background behind this story, right? So. I'm, I'm the founder of a social media agency called Sociograph. So basically what we do is that we manage people's social media and you know, try to grow their social media following, uh, get more engagements for them, uh, build brand awareness and you know, things of that nature. So naturally what we do is that we give advice based on research that we've done over a very long period of time of things that would and could work on social media so what we do is that we get this information and we adapt it into our clients so this story starts off with uh, a potential client coming to me asking me if I could help him with his social media and stuff like that and I was like sure man you don't even have to pay me in the first like consultation or whatsoever because that's what I do I mean I don't want to charge anybody in the first consultation because if you're not satisfied with what we're giving you on the first time then it's not fair for us to be you know charging you huge amounts of money which may not bring the results that you'd want I have this kind of like clients and potential clients who come to me asking for advice uh, and I will usually point them in the right direction I'll give them my suggestions based on the research that we've done and they'll you know they're like yeah this sounds like a good idea and we'll do it but i've come across a few very weird clients or potential clients uh, that come to me asking me for help with their social media like they say oh i don't have time to do it i mean i uh like my social media has no direction no aim and so when i tell them to come up with a strategy like ask them about the branding and stuff they're like oh uh it's just uh, it's just this it's just that that's like nothing detailed so i ask for details i want to ask questions you know to find out more about the brand and uh you know try to cater what we have into their brand do you ever have this experience when somebody comes to you and pretends like they know what you know or even worse they think they know more than you know so mm -hmm. that's what basically happened to my partner and I, Andrew. So we were at this meeting with a potential client and uh, we were about to give him like strategies and ideas that he could use for his social media. And so, you know, we suggested our usual video, Instagram live, uh, you know, putting out content on a daily basis and everything. 
and he was like, yeah, I know, I know, I can do that, all that, but I don't think Instagram, like, like, like you know, when we give you suggestions, it's because we know these things. It's not because we want to tell you things, it's because we know these things work. Like, f- to be honest, man, social graph, our reach has been in- increasing ever since we put out, like, almost daily video content. If it's not video, it's pictures. We rarely put out just words like that because, you know, fact of the matter is people are attracted to visual things. And it's easier to digest. You don't actually have to read it. It's, you're just listening to it and you see it like it's being fed to you. So, for example, you run a food and beverage business, right? You're dealing with F&B, dealing with drinks, you're dealing with food and stuff. It's the no-brainer to have a visually captivating social media presence. But, you know, some people, they just, like, I don't know. Like, if, you, if you're not even willing to put in a dollar a day to run your Facebook ads, Something is wrong somewhere, right? It's just a dollar a day. I think you spend more on food on every single day. Like this dollar could potentially bring you back so much more. When I give certain suggestions to some businesses, they'll tell me like, oh, this doesn't work for my industry. Oh, no, you don't know my industry. Dude, nobody knows anybody's industry, man. I came into the marketing world without knowing jack shit about marketing. I came to social media world knowing jack shit about social media. Nobody knows what goes behind closed doors or under the table or whatsoever. So every every industry is dirty. Like like I, I like to quote Gary Vaynerchuk a lot and this is one of the quotes from him like the market doesn't give a shit. It doesn't give a shit about you, it doesn't give a shit about me. And it doesn't give a shit whether I, I'm new or an old timer. If I've got what's good, I'm gonna get it good. And it's the same thing with you, like I, I keep emphasizing to my clients and everyone else that wants to work with us or works with us, I keep emphasizing that you should give, 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 and expect nothing in return. But they're like, oh no, it doesn't work in my industry. People are going to take advantage of me. So what? So what if people take advantage of you? I mean, it happens. It's happened to me. You have to be smart about it, you know? You have to choose who you want to give it to. Like. With all the people that I've given it to, sometimes I receive something back, sometimes I don't. I don't complain about it, I don't talk about it, I really don't care. Because I want to give. Don't expect anything in return. It's that simple. Like, if you really... I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just a different person. Maybe every somebody else is a different person. Like, we're all different people. But I believe in the power of giving, you know. The more we give the more we receive even though we don't expect anything out of it like just don't expect anything out of it so for example if you run a perfume business I give that perfume to a bunch of Instagram influencers you know I wouldn't even tell them to plug it into their videos I wouldn't even tell them to say hey give me a shout out or whatever just give it to them and up to them if they want to throw it in the trash I don't know if they want to give it to the dog or give it as a birthday present to somebody else so be it I mean, you never know what's going to happen with this opportunity when you give. Sometimes it does, nothing happens, but sometimes big things can happen. So I'd rather take the chances. You just put your name out and you keep giving and giving and giving and giving. Everybody's like, hey, have these guys like given you this? And yeah, I received this thing from them. Yeah, I keep getting things from them. And then they'll be obliged to it. But of course, don't expect that to happen. You got you to gotta, you gotta expect nothing to happen. So yeah, key takeaway from this video is just give and don't expect anything to return and good things will come to you. After 5 Hustler, out.